Vegas, Nevada. I do this work because I have love for my brothers and sisters of humanity, which is all of you. I love doing personal readings for you. I do them by donation. So consult your heart as to the value of the information and Love Source God will show you a number and that is the price for your reading. You send that price to me by PayPal and in the comments section of that PayPal, put your specific question. Remember that the more specific your question is, the more specific your answers will be. I have a one to three day turnaround and I do reserve the rights to refuse services and thankfully it's not something that I do very often at all. Um, all your readings will be given by YouTube upload unless your donation is over $60 then I will give you the option if you have a continental US calling number I can call you or FaceTime you or we can figure out some sort of video live session if your donation is $60 or over. So at this time, I'm going to key into my client. On the back of this sheet of paper, when I do personal readings, the back of this sheet of paper has my client's actual name. And so I also have some um, zodiac signs drawn there on the paper. The center one is her sign. She's a Sagittarius. And the person she's currently involved with is an Aquarius. And the person she's um, also questioning is an Aries and so you'll see those signs are also there but love source God knows the question and has the information and so it's now time for me to pull those answers out so I'm gonna do um, I want to do this reading in the sense of where the relationship is his his body mind and soul towards her regarding the Aquarius and then on the right side we'll do the body, mind, and soul towards her regarding the Aries person. And so um, let me go ahead and just key in and then I'll pull out other cards and explain as I go how I'm going to use all the different cards that I pull out. So thank you, thank you, thank you, love source God for allowing me to receive and deliver these divine messages for my viewer. This Sagittarius woman is so curious she is um, also trusting to receive the information with accuracy, truth, and clarity through me. So thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing me to receive and deliver these divine messages for my viewer, for her highest and greatest good in regards to her personal love journey. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these cards. And I will put the cards in view. Let's see, I think that helped the lighting a bit. I will put the cards in better view as I move forward in delivering the messages. But let me just spread the deck now. And I need one, his body, the Aquarius body mind and soul towards her and then I also need the Aries body mind and soul or spirit self towards her I need to know regarding her own from her perspective her love life where it is where it will soon be and the overall outcome so I'm going to take those nine cards. The underlying energy here is three, share the love. So I feel like there's also with this, is a, it's not only about giving and receiving love, but it, it's definitely showing me that there are three people involved in the love feeling. And I don't feel that it's anything that, has quite been acted upon yet I'm really focused on the opening of the heart I feel like it's more of um, trying to figure out where to give the love where to offer it and I feel like that's a strong thing that is being shown with the hand holding the heart so I'll just set that there 
And then the first was the Aquarius body, mind, and soul towards you. And then um, I'm just going to shift this a little bit so we can get a better view of the cards. And then so that's the Aquarius. And then over here we'll do the Aries body, mind, and soul towards you. And regarding your personal love journey, where it is, what's coming in soon, and the overall outcome. And then we'll see what else we get. So regarding the Aquarius, um, we have the Ace of Wands, new vitality in the body. So I feel like he's feeling a new beginning as well. And in some sort, as far as his relationship with you, um, I feel with this image that there is the air of trying to breathe more life into the relationship. His mind it, towards you is uh, the three, which is the solar plexus chakra. It deals all about his self-esteem, his confidence, his power, his vitality, energy. So I feel like he is with this with this ace of wands in the body and the solar plexus in in the mind. I feel like he it, towards you he's trying to gain greater confidence and power so that he can be better able to express it physically. His soul towards you is another ace, the ace of swords, clarity of belief. Um, so that is a very much about a new, new ideas, new thought pattern, new understanding. I feel like you two have had some very strong heart to hearts and he's really trying to blossom into a new way for you. And he's having newer understandings about the relationship. So let me look at this Aries. We have in the body, we have feeling alone. This is a five of pentacles. So loneliness is there. And um, also he feeling like he's following the moon, following his intuition, following his feelings. In this body, I'm sorry, this is the body. And in the minds, we have the um, three of pentacles which is reaching out and I feel like he's just looking like this is what I really want to reach out really wanting to reach out and again reiterating the feeling alone wanting some support and then in the spirit we have the manifest so in the soul level he is trying to conjure you up in a sense trying hard to make something happen so that he can not feel alone or feel um, needy so much. Now, just off of the off of the plane, what I see so far, just in regards to these two people, I see independence and and individuality and stability in oneself on this side. I must say that about this Aquarius person. This person is is not only confident in who and what they are and what they're bringing to the table, they're working on building up even more in that sense. This person over here, there's a strong desire and it's coming on a soul level, but I feel a lot of codependence on this side. This is a person that is going to need you to make them feel worthy and make them feel like they are not alone and like they are worthy and you're going to have to be very, very proactive in nurturing this person if you choose to be with this person because they are so codependent is one thing I'm feeling greatly. They're going to look to you to solve their problems if you were to leave this relationship. Where at this relationship that you've been in, this person is looking at it like it's new beginnings. You have the new gateway, the, uh, the one and the one around the solar plexus chakra, which is all about power and vitality. I feel like this person wants the relationship to get even stronger. So 
where you are now, you're at the Nine of Pentacles. You're standing tall because you know that you have built up everything that you have. It's you are receiving a well-deserved reward in the fact that you have options and that you are desirable and that there are people who um, are appreciating that about you. And I feel like you don't really need either of them to know your worth, that you inside of yourself, you understand that you are capable and able in and of yourself. And so that's a really good place to be because I don't see codependence in this card. Codependence is not a, the healthiest type of relationship. So where it's moving into next is wish card, dreams coming true. And notice there is another nine there. This is very interesting so far. I'll bring up some points in a minute about that numerology. Okay. Wow. Dreams are coming true you are going to receive a wish and um, it's going to be something beautiful that you've been wanting. You will feel like you have the whole possibility in the palm of your hands and you have actually received something that you really wanted. Okay. And the outcome for you at this time regarding your personal love journey is awaiting results. The seven of pentacles. Now, before I get too far, nine and nine, we have two nines, we have two threes, we have three ones, one, two, three makes three, so essentially we have three nines, I'm sorry, essentially we have three threes, and with those three threes, you add those up, that makes three nines. Um, threes are very, very spiritual numbers because they deal with um, bringing the love source God spirit energy into a partnership. It's a, a collaboration that brings in the divine into the partnership. So, um, another thing I want to bring up is the seven of pentacles is looking at this guy over here is back is to this one. And it's over there. Um, is back is to this one. And it, the attention is focused over here. Um, I feel like you're standing in the middle of all the possibility, but your soul is saying you've been building something over here. Keep your attention focused over there. I feel like is what your soul is saying. And I really feel like this person is looking for you to make some magic happen in their life. Like they really need you to do something for their behalf that they themselves have not yet been able to accomplish. And they're looking for you to provide that for them. I'm um, shuffling the unicorn deck. I want to lay one on each of these individuals that you're dealing with. This card here. Thankful. Think about the things and people you feel thankful for. And over here, light. See the light within yourself and everyone else. So, um, I feel like uh, in this relationship that you've been in, there is a lot of nurturing gratitude in this relationship. And I feel like there's enough gratitude to cause for, actually, let me see. I want to make sure you can see this better. For, for love to just keep growing. Over here, I don't feel like it's somebody that you should cut out by any means. But I feel like it's something that you need to hold on, off on at this time. Because I feel like this person has a lot of things going on to where they're feeling. This person may even be in somewhat of a depression right now. And they kind of looking to you to give them some answers and build them up and, and things like that. And you can only do so much of that work for someone else. They have to do that work for themselves in the, in the majority. So let me just pull a word card here. Empowering. This is an empowering relationship on this side. And over here, uniting. So, you know, there's some uniting going on and you have to understand spirituality is at the bottom of the word deck. You have to understand that people aren't always brought together for romantic purposes. Sometimes it is just because of an interchange that needs to take place. And maybe there is some um, work on a friendship level that really needs to be done. So I want to thank you for allowing me to do this reading for you. I look forward to hearing your responses. And I look forward to reading for you again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love, peace, and happiness to you and yours. And of course, me and mine. Until next time.